on. So variables and functional scope. So variable or function object is only visible to a part of a program known as the object's scope. And this is important. Sally, you were asking about the global variable and some other thing. So variable defined inside a function, the scope is only limited to that function. What, what do I mean by that? So I, so I want to tell you that if we have a program, let's say test dot pi, we have some statements like one, two, three, four, five, all the way, let's say 100. And we have like x equals five, y equals two. And then we have some other statements. We have a definition test, func. It's not showing behind you. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I told me on there. Okay, so I have just drawn the, um, um, a diagram for the um, Python script named test.py. I have some statements like x equals five, i equals two, and then we have the function definition here, okay? And then I may have, let's say, x equals three, or let's say a equals two, and then some other statements probably, and then I have, so whatever, indented here is a part of this definition, okay? So whatever is not indented is a part of the entire program. Then I can have another piece of code. So this print statement and all other statement outside this definition block is, is not a part of, of the definition, okay? So what I'm saying here is, so we have defined a variable name A equals, sorry, a equals two. So this A is only visible to this function. Okay, is it just like you have a big box, okay? And then within that box, you have another a small box that we call a function. So whatever you define inside that box, let's say A, A equals five or A or B or whatever. So this values A and B are only visible to this piece of code, this piece of block, okay? The outside program here cannot see this, which means that A is defined here, A is defined here. If I try to print A, it will throw off an error because in our program outside this function definition, a is not visible, which means that um, program doesn't see that A is defined anywhere in the program, okay? I'll give you a demo. So this is what we call the scope of the, um, um, scope uh, of the variable, okay? So here, uh, is a scope of that variable is limited to a function. And this example you can see So we have a program centimeters per inch is a variable name has some value 2.54 and then we have inches per foot equals 12 and then we have the function definition. The name of the function def uh, function is height US two centimeters, okay? And then we have some variables lit name feet equals this and inches equals this. So what we are doing here is we are calling this function in this line. We are calling the function here at this line. So when we are calling this function, again, this is the, an example of a nested function. So print itself is a function, which is, which is used to print something on the screen. And what we are doing is, we could have passed uh, some variable here, rather we have passed a function call, okay? So height US to centimeter is a function name, which is defined here. And we are passing the value feet and inches. So it takes two parameters, feet and inches, and now converts a height. Now feet times inches per foot. So inches per foot is not defined inside this function. Again, whatever we define outside the function is visible to a function. 
but whatever we define inside the function is not visible to the outside function okay we can make it visible in a certain way we will be talking about it later but uh, generally speaking you can see that total underscore inches is a variable which we are defining inside this function equation okay which means that this total underscore inches will not be visible to the program outside this boundary outside the functions boundary okay so here you can see feed is provided as a parameter into this function inches is provided as a parameter into this function but inches per foot where is it getting it from so inches per foot is not defined anywhere inside this function it is taking this value from whatever is being defined outside this function definition okay and you can see it's uh, performing some calculations and returning certain parameters so i can give you a demo here with uh, visual studio So let's talk about uh, still we are doing some week one stuff. Sorry. Chords new file and um, scope dot pi. So let's talk about def let's say if I have x equals five, y equals two. Is it better? y equals 2 and then we have a definition let's say test and I'm passing a and B in this one and I'm using um, let's say print a times B times X okay and let's say I also have a variable name C equals 5 okay that's it now let's try to call the value uh, call this function test and pass this value let's say 5 4 so first of all when I return this sorry print let's try looking at a. so the, the beauty of Microsoft Visual Studio or any interactive programmer uh, any interactive tool is that it tells you that A is not defined right away. It is telling you right, right away. If you would be using it in Zypox, may, you may not see such kind of functionality. And this is what I was telling you. I wanted to demonstrate to you first, Python 3 and scope.py. So first of all, it executed this line. It performed five times, uh, we passed five and four, so a and b are 4, 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 times uh, x, again 5, so is 100. So it prints this value, right? We have another, just a random expression, c equals 5. And then what it is saying? I'm trying to print the value of a, which is not defined in this boundary, okay? a is already defined here, or let's say c, okay? c is defined inside this function which is not visible to anything outside okay so that is why it is giving you an error c is not defined i can assign a different value to cc is 100 let's say or let's say 103 now you can see 103 is printed here although this function was executed C was assigned a value 5, or maybe I can put this up here. Just to give you a demo that the instructions are executed line by line. Okay, so x equals 5 is executed, y equals 2 is executed, c equals 103 is executed, and then we execute this function, test, where we are assigning c equals 5. The value c equals 5 is restricted to inside the function only, okay? And when I try to print C, you see the value 103 is printed. So you can have the same variable name inside and outside the function. You can, um, but the, the scope of that variable defined inside the function is only limited to the function. 
Understand? Yep. So instead of print, any time G times X, could you have just done return? Yes, I can simply return. So what, what it would do is return. So it will return. OK, so let's give a demo of this one also. Print C. And maybe I can put this up. I don't know if I can. OK. So once the definition is executed, it will evaluate this expression and return the results. It will not execute any of these two statements. So you can see I'm defining C equals 5, print C, but it will not print C here. OK, print, let's say, uh, I say inside function. OK, and I think it is already a telling that code is unreachable. So code is unreachable means it is returning in this line number 6. This is not going to execute anyway. So this is why uh, such kind of uh, integrated development environments like Microsoft Visual Studio is very good for beginners. Okay. Otherwise, if you're not using anything, you're just simply using an editor, you're still good, but it might be difficult for you to debug your program. So when I execute this, you see it is still, it is printing 103 only. It performs the calculation, it returns the value, but again, I'm not catching this value anywhere, the return value, so it is considered lost. I can consider like output, uh, let's say, func or test output, test underscore output equals this, which means that I'm running a test, executing this thing, and it is returning something, which I am assigning to this variable test underscore output. I can consider printing this, print test underscore output, and let's see, it printed 100, okay? So the point of uh, this explanation is to show you that uh, the variable defined inside the functions are only restricted to this function boundary, okay? You can see that C equals 103 is already defined, which is outside the function. So this variable is visible to the entire program, including the function. So if I do it like this, C equals 5. So first of all, let's uh, let's do it like this. So C equals, first of all, I comment this out, C equals 5, and let's see what happens. C inside function, or value of C simply. So what will happen? What do you think? When I run this code, what would be the value of C that would be printed? Or will C be printed or you will get an error? Start reading from the beginning. X equal 5, Y equal 2, C equals 1 or 3. Definition, you, you know, it, it, it will compile the definition of the function. It will not execute the function definition unless it is called. Okay, so I'm calling the function here in this line. So when this function is called, this start executing. This is a comment, there is nothing defined, or maybe I can just delete it for a while. And it will only print this statement, value of C, C. The C is not defined, okay? We are passing the value of A and B. So what do you expect it to print? It will print what? 103, it will print 103, why? Because this C equals 103, which is defined outside the function, it is still visible inside this function. Okay, next thing, if I define C equals, let's say, 5. Now what will happen? It will override the previous value of C in this, within this boundary, okay? And it will now print value of C, 5. So C is already uh, assigned a new value, but if you print it out here, after executing this statement, uh, let's say value of C outside, and C, okay? So value of C inside and value of C outside is this. So when 
this function is executed, it will override this value, which was c equals one and three, or it will just consider, it will not, you may consider that it's not overriding it, it is creating a new variable with the same name c equals five. Now this c is only restricted to this function boundary. Okay, so it will remain uh, inside when this function is over. Now what will happen when I execute this one? So this value, which is already defined up here, will be used. Okay? Confused? No, I got it. Got it? Any question here? And this is important from exam conceptual questions point of view also. Okay? So you might be given a piece of code with a similar kind of like uh, instructions, and you might be asked what would be the value of C. Okay? Or what would be the value of whatever the variable is. Okay? Okay, let's go back. So this is the reason why I'm considering um, repeating this, um, uh, these um, contents, although they were supposed to be covered in last week. <coughs> okay, so variable defined inside a function is called local variables. This is also important. So any variable defined outside the function is generally referred as a global variable. Global variable means it is accessible globally within the program. And anything, any variable that we define inside the function is considered as local variable. So again, um, you might be given a piece of code and some variables in defined inside the function, defined outside the function, and you might be asked what is the, which one is a local variable here, or which one is a global variable, okay? And variable defined outside of a function are called global variable, scope assignment is Wherever we define the variable, the scope is the place where it is defined until the end of the file, okay? So if you have defined a variable some, somewhere like line number 10, of course you cannot access it before line number 10 because it is not defined there, okay? And can be accessed inside function, which we have just seen. I've already given a demo. So if you would want that, a variable that you have defined outside the function and you want to use the same value or whatever value you want to update it inside the function, just like we gave, uh, we have seen an example of C. So we can consider using C as a global variable and we, if you have to use the same value, update the value of C or any variable that is defined outside the function, if you want to update it within the function and we want to keep it updated, so we have to use the keyword name global, okay? Which means that employee underscore name, for example, here is initially NA, and you are uh, calling this function get underscore name, it uh, executes this statement, input. Okay, so if you haven't seen such kind of syntax, is this is an optional message. So input function, we can specify the optional message for the user. So when this line executes, you, you will see a message on your screen like enter employee name or enter input whatever uh, your program is expecting user to give an input, okay? You can optionally specify that message, okay? So it takes the input, assign it to name, and then we are updating, we are assigning the employee underscore name equals name. Now this is not, this employee name is restricted to function only, this function only, okay? Which means that we define this value, uh, value outside, and this function, uh, this variable defined inside the function is a local variable, and it will be restricted only to this function. So that is why when we try to print it here, it is still prints NA, okay? Why it is still printing NA? Because it is taking this value. It's not taking this value, because this is restricted, this is a local variable, and restricted to only function. Once the function is over, this variable is removed from memory. The program doesn't know where, what is employee name. Now in case if you want to declare a variable outside function, but we want to keep it updated, I mean inside the function as well. So we have to uh, use a keyword named global. And when I say global, employee name, which means that this variable is globally accessed to this program, okay? So here you can see when we execute this statement, print employee name and employee name. So it is already updated here, okay? 
I assume that I have provided my name. Make sense? Any question? Okay. However, the use of global variable is discouraged, for, especially for the beginners. The reason why, because you may uh, run into a situation where if you're using so many global variables, it would become terribly difficult for you to debug your code because uh, this is something which is defined outside and some part of, uh, some part of code is accessing or is running or calling this function. It might be overriding the value uh, of this variable. So use of global variable should be used very carefully at a discourage for the beginner, but still you can use it, okay? If you have a situation like this. Okay, so variable function scope extends from function definition to the end of the file. So as same as we have a scope of a variable, we also have a scope of a function, okay? What does the scope of a function mean? Can you access, can you call any function which is not defined in the file? You cannot, okay? So in order to access the same as a variable, the variable must have already been defined. Similarly, the function must have already been defined. Okay, so here you can see, I'm trying to call get underscore name function, which is not yet defined. So Python is reading a code from top to bottom. So it reads the variable employee name, it reads that it is a function call, but where it is defined? It is not defined up here. So it will throw off an error that get, under, get underscore name is not defined, which means that before making a call, you should have the function's definition already defined up there, okay? So first of all, you need to have the function definition and then you can call it um, down in the file, okay? Quick knowledge task for you guys. It's taking too long. A local variable is defined inside a function while a global variable is defined outside any function. Is it true or false? True. Yeah. A local variable's scope extends from a function definitions ending colon to the end of the function. Yeah. True or false? False. False. Why? Because you can't just kind of start with a colon. You gotta start with so a let me give you a demo here. Um, explanation. So the function definition is this. Let's say test is the name of my function, and I have x, y, z, and then I have the colon. Sorry. Should be doing. So I have a function definition. Test is the name of the function, mm -hmm. and I have the list of parameters, and then I have this colon, okay? And then I would be using this x, y, sorry, whatever, x equals three or y equals whatever. So it is asking you the scope of these variables, x, y, z, begins from colon or, or where? Is it true or false? Col after colon means this, after this point. It is false because the scope immediately starts where it is defined. So it is defined before the colon, okay? So that's why it is false. So it says local variable scope extends from a function's definitions ending colon. So we always define the variables, local variables in the parentheses. Parentheses comes before the colon, okay? So that's why it is false. A global statement must be used to assign a global variable inside a function, which is what? True. A function definition must be evaluated by the interpreter before the function can be called. Yep, true. Because if the function is not defined, we cannot call the function. And we have just seen the example. Okay, so 